this example, what we have is we have two functions, f, x squared plus 4 and 2x plus 1. And basically what it's asking us is f plus h of x is basically just telling us, based on your notes, to take the f of x function and add it to the h of x function, and then determine the domain. So basically f of x is, so we could say the f plus h of x is equal to f of x, x squared plus 4. You could put it in parentheses if you needed to. And then plus 2x plus 1. Now, however, since we're adding, we don't really need to use the parentheses. But I'll show you in subtraction why that's helpful. And then basically, guys, we're just adding here. Now, again, we can only add like terms. So I can't add the x squared with anything. I can't add the 2x with anything. But the 4 and the 1 are both numbers, so I can add them together, and that gives me a 5. Now, when determining the domain of this function, it's pretty nice, guys. If you look at f of x, that's x squared plus 4. That's a quadratic, right? That domain is all real numbers. h of x, domain is all real numbers. So would it make sense then the combination of them is still going to be all real numbers without even knowing what the combination is? right? And you guys can see, obviously, the combination gives you another quadratic. So we can just say the domain here is negative infinity to negative infinity. Okay. Now, the, yes? No, you're just combining and 